happy day to my uh, dear students and uh, my friends this is uh, el nagarajan working as an assistant professor in the department of electrical and electronics engineering in mam school of engineering trichy aggregated by nac approved by act new delhi affiliated to anna university chennai <coughs> So in today's class we are going to discuss about the basic biomedical instrumentation system. So what are the components that are available in the biomedical instrumentation system and what is the role of each component and how it is connected to the whole system. Okay. So now let us go into the topic. So uh, this is the system. Okay, how it is connected and what are the components present in the uh, biomedical instrumentation. So the subject will be the human. Okay, this human will be the subject. That is, we can also name it as measurant. And to this measurant, there should be some input signal. Okay, without input, we cannot get the output. Okay, so what are the input can be given? Energy sources and light infrared mechanical that is it can be a vibration uh, and uh, ultrasonic sound okay and uh, so these are the input can be given okay so for example if a light is allowed to pass to the eye of a human then automatically we can find the change in diameter of the pupil okay pupil in the sense black color uh, colored uh, small circle okay. it will enlarge and it will get smaller and obviously sound okay if a person is hearing some uh, uh, very different sound then he will uh, he will start learning, he will start hearing curiously. Okay. So these are the input that can be given to a subject. And here I said, uh, as I said earlier, there is a calibration. When uh, the reading is taken to this patient, okay, and to make the system to read zero before giving any input, this calibration unit is done. Calibration is done after giving in after the calibration is done we will give the input to the patient and the responses will be measured okay and uh, to this patient this calibration value will be varying and to the next patient it cannot be done directly again we will be uh, come make the system to come to zero okay so because without giving any input such this type of input if the reading is given if the if there is a reading to this uh, uh, sensing and uh, control unit then then there is no use of taking these values okay. and again transducers bar sensors okay the the role of this is to pick the electrical signal which is very low in amplitude and uh, wide uh, range in frequency Okay. That value is sent to the preamplifiers, that is signal conditioner. Signal conditioner does the signal amplification and the signal processing. Okay. So, and again, finally, this uh, from this uh, signal conditioner, the output is given to the alarm signal, that is alarm system, display system, and the data storage, data transmission, and finally, data recording. Okay, we will look after the topic very individually okay the basic components as i said measurement will be there sensors and transducers and the calibration unit and the signal conditioning okay now measurement measurement is a physical quantity okay that instrument systems uh, measure it the bio human body acts as a source of for the measurement and uh, it generates the bio signals Okay, human body okay this is the called as measurement not only human if the treatment is uh, going for an animal then that animal will also be considered as a measurement okay 
Next one is sensors and transducers. The transducers converts one form of uh, uh, energy to another form, usually electrical signal. Okay, for example, this piece of electric. Okay, the piece of electric converts mechanical vibration into electrical signal, and uh, microphone will convert sound into electrical. So the transducer produces unstable output depending upon the measure and okay. The sensor is used to sense the signal from the source and it is used to interface with the human body. Next one is signal conditioner. Signal conditioner system is used to convert the output from the transducers into the electrical value. Okay. That electrical value amplitude should be higher enough to do different process. Different process in the sense display has to be displayed and it has to be recorded and it has to be uh, transmitted. Okay, that is uh, manipulated to some other form, analog to digital or to digital to uh, analog. That is everything and. Uh, so the instrument should be uh, high enough to sense that uh, bio signals and display. It is used to provide the visual representation of the measured parameter. That is, it can be a uh, chart recorder, CRO, sometimes alarms are also used as an audio signals. The signal generated is uh, Doppler effect scanner used for fetal monitoring, for example, is monitoring the fetal in uh, in the womb. Okay, and finally, data questions. Okay, data question and data transmission. The data the data stored is used to store the data. Okay, that is it is nothing but digital data. Digital data used to store and it is also used for further references. Recent days electronic health records are utilized in the hospitals in order to get the, the patient database and also to telemet the system. Telemetric in the sense that data has to be transmitted to the doctor. Doctor can be in his uh, or uh, in his room okay the patient can be in the ward okay so he can monitor from he can monitor the patient data by sitting in his room as well as the nurse can also monitor the uh, patient uh, data from sitting in the room though that is why telemetry system okay where data can be transmitted from one location to another location so that's all with the today's class so we will have the Next topic uh, of the different unit, this uh, second unit. So, thank you.